All right, chat, here we go. Game number one. Starting up again, Arsenal had to get a reset here. He does have 100 ping. What does he have? 100 ping in his E server for it. It's actually insane. We have first killer and Arsenal in this round of four. These guys are both th or two and one. One of them wants to be three and one. The other is going to be sent to the final round with one last life left over. Will it be first killer? The winner of the previous swap actually didn't drop a series in the previous swap, but lost to AJ in the round of 2-0, and oh, which I don't think he's lost to AJ in a long time. First killer had good records against pretty much all of the top North American 1v1ers, except for Daniel. Daniel came after the dominance of first killer, and then the one time they did match up, it was heavily in favor of Daniel, but everybody else, first killer had continued to have good records against. AJ trying to end that now. Uh, thank you, Cole and Ebert, Ebert, for the brand new Prime. Much appreciated. Arsenal has looked good in 1v1. He has been grinding some 1v1 as of late, and as a result, has really increased his 1v1 skill and his 1v1 game sense. Everything about it, including his pogo. His pogo has improved maybe the most. First killer has continued to play this fast-paced style where he just keeps ball speed high, which this time means slamming it against the back wall and going for a double. But Arsenal, his only loss so far is to Zabatos in the early rounds, the immediate round, and first killer losing to AJ in the 2-0 round. So we'll see how they match up here. First killer trying to slot a power shot right into the top shelf, but Arsenal actually did a really good job of launching it all the way to the blue corner and then took himself completely out of the play by wave dashing his way all the way up to the midfield boost far away from first killer and then could not come and challenge him in time. First killer is never going to miss these. First killer up the sidewall once again. Arsenal this time prepped on the ceiling to try and prevent these air dribbles, but first killer takes it to the ground, pops it over the top of Arsenal, and gets himself a third. If you've watched Arsenal streams before, which I do recommend them, they are very entertaining. One of the streamers that I like to keep on when he's streaming. But one thing that he really likes to do is he likes to key in on a player that he thinks is playing well recently, and watch their gameplay as a way to hype himself up, as a way to train himself. So I believe it was yesterday, either yesterday or two days ago, that Arsenal on stream was saying, uh, we need to play like first killer. We need to look up first killer replays and we need to play like first killer. That is going to be the way that, you know, he improved in 1v1. So I'm not sure if he ever found a recent first killer 1v1 replay, but now he's going to have one. He's going to have one if he saves this. He's going for the pogo! Oh! I tell you what, he wins. If he gets a pogo on first killer, that's a win whether the game goes in his favor or not. First killer, not going to be able to get a double again. This is actually a really interesting method of attack that first killer has been doing. The backboard double meta is one you really don't do very often. Not a lot of ones players are doing that because it's hard to get the correct backboard setup that defenders can't take it away from you. There is only really special occasions where you can get away with those doubles on the back wall based on where the defender's positioned. First killer seems to be working in those plays as often as possible. And now he's just passed to himself off the sidewall. He's got himself a 4-2 lead over the RC baby. He played him like two days ago in private matches. These two played in private matches, is that what you're saying? First killer trying to find a dribble from Arsenal's corner. He took it so far out to midfield, though. Was not able to get it back in time. And it will lead to a pretty easy Arsenal goal. Arsenal is tilted. Well, I tell you what. I was watching Arsenal in the qualifiers yesterday. And I would say right when the qualifiers started, was he was tilting hard. And yet he still ended up winning both. So he's been able to stay at a high level of play despite a bit of tilt on stream. 
First killer. Set this one up really well. The first touch is a dribble out to the center of the net, which makes it hard for Arsenal to make a decision on how to save it. And then the wave that, or sorry, the uh, Musty sends it all the way into the bottom right corner away from the defender. Arsenal, air dribble, reset right on the goal line, didn't get it, and then it almost worked out. He almost got a 50 while turtle on the ground, but first killer will take it away. A minute and 33 and a three goal lead. You know what Arsenal needs, chat? He needs a pogo. Can you guys believe? He slams it high off the backboard. Arsenal. His reset taken to the ground. His first killer falls from the ceiling. This is a great place flick and it's going to work out. It actually ends up being positioned directly where first killer has a hard time turning to make the save. The way he's shadowed, it's put almost perfectly behind him. So he can't get up and make that slight adjustment. But have had a much easier time saving a shot to the opposite post where he could have driven into it. So a minute. And Arsenal working his way back into it. First killer trying to use the wall dashes to save some boost and still stay involved in this play, but it's not going to work out. He pops the ball up to Arsenal, who is unable to get a reset with it, and so he ends up having to just hand it over. And now he's recovering off only pads. First killer, another double. That's what I'm talking about. First killer is loving the doubles off the back wall. And I just don't see a lot of players go for it. He is able to pop this ball above the, or sorry, more past the early challenge from Arsenal as he tries to fall from the ceiling. Arsenal messed up kickoff here. First killer, another double. This is the reason why you don't see players going for doubles very often. Arsenal didn't get a great recovery, and with even slightly better recovery, just an easy goal the other way. First killer ahead of the ball, but is so gifted mechanically. Able to use boost and air roll to push himself right back into the perfect position to shoot. And the final flip is exactly what's needed to literally fit it in the slight pocket in the top right. Just nuzzling up against both the crossbar and the post as it goes in. Arsenal, great shot here. Might come to no avail. I'm not sure he's going to get three more goals in 10 seconds. But a good reset to threaten and keep first killer fading away in net. And then able to expose him off the bounce. First killer could give one for the road. He'll start up 1-0. Another save and a well-placed shot. Arsenal needs two in a row, otherwise he's only going to have one more life. As first killer takes game one. Remember YouTube, every subscription for the next month adds $1 to the prize pool at the end of the year. So please subscribe. First killer and Arsenal. Arsenal in the Fennec. He's been doing most of his training in the Fennec when I've been watching him on streams. He's been doing incredibly long streams. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but Arsenal is maybe at the end of like a six or seven hour stream. Unless he went offline and back online, which he didn't do yesterday before the qualifier. Do you guys know? His ping is fixed, says chat. Yeah, he does have 40 ping now. Or are you about to see Arsenal pop off after some unfortunate internet troubles to start the series? Arsenal catch looking top right. First killer who is swinging into net, aims in that direction, is going to have a fairly easy save. Just based on the timing, even though first killer might not have had a ton of boost, he had the speed to cover that corner. Arsenal now another flick opportunity. Sent off the backboard. to try and start a dribble here, but first killer knows. I mean, Arsenal has to basically take that all the way to the back corner. It's hard to turn a shot out of a possession like this. You see how 
how much negative momentum, I don't know how to put it, basically how much momentum it has towards the orange side. He has to cut it up the sidewall and try and take it back out to the blue half, and it's just really hard to do. Might have needed to just go camp out in his corner and then turn around and try a ground play because obviously going for what he did go for was just a pass to first killer. Ooh, first killer too quick. And yet another double. I love it! First killer, the look away! This is so sick. I love the reverse camp meta. Count me in on reverse meta in freaking ranked, or not ranked, but show matches, or not even show matches, but tournaments. Money on the line in these games. Doesn't matter. That one is actually probably the safest one I've seen. First killer had a scarier one before, and then I think Moxie's of the three that I've now seen was probably the most dangerous. But that net was so free, so wide open, it was going to be really hard for Chris Killer to miss. 3 0. First Killer seems to have Arsenal figured out. Not even the ping fix has been able to save Arsenal. Ball to air dribble for Arsenal. Double reset. Look at this shot from Arsenal to save. Oh, it's got to hurt because it's going to be a goal the other way as well. Oh, not quite. Great recovery. Really well placed. Uh, is it a goal? No, it's not. Arsenal still only down three after being robbed of his double reset. That's not a good play by first killer. He just gave the ball away. He needed to recognize that the setup was just not there. First killer for a moment forgot that he's not in free play, that if he slams that against the back wall, he will get scored on. I like that all these people are getting in calls. Apparently, chat is telling me that First Killer and AJ are in a call right now. <laughs> this is so funny. But I love it. It's just so much extra content if all these guys are going to keep getting in voice calls with each other. First Killer, full field dribble. Not enough to make anything out of it. Arsenal now stuck on zero. Got a pad, but first killer uses his boost to escape. And instead of picking up the corner, first killer just cuts right back towards the orange half. And is able to get Arsenal caught out the midfield challenge. Oh, he actually backflipped around it. He matrixed the ball. He was in a decent position, but he managed to not touch it. Long shot from first killer. Not able to punish Arsenal this time. Arsenal's counterattack isn't available as he gets too strong of a touch out of his own half. And that zero boost setup is really bad for him. When he pops the ball, or sorry, when he pops himself in the air that high, but also the ball, he's just not going to be able to get grounded and get recovering before first killer is already prepped and set up the long shot. If you want to see Daniel Zapatos, you can go to Hootie Who's stream. I know who's covering Daniel, and then I think Croptopolis who's covering a Zapatos. First kill getting another one. Arsenal trying to creep into the corner. Trying to make first feel uncomfortable in any way and hasn't been able to. First kill a great placement. Just recognition that Arsenal's not coming off the back wall to challenge him and he's also staying on the near side of the net, which means far post is available. Have to challenge him earlier or have to move off the wall in front of the net quicker than he did. 7-1 for first killer. Wall to air dribble. Look at this reset. Almost another goal. Seemed like he had brought it to the ground and it was all over for him. 
Chris Keeler's teaching Arsenal a lesson here in this series. Arsenal came into chat earlier and said that he's having a fun time, that he's learning a lot. Well, this is definitely a learning moment here for him. <laughs> I was wondering what Vakinus was talking about. He just ended the prediction. He ended the prediction for the series and he said, if, if Arsenal comes back, unmod me. <laughs> He's willing to risk his mod status that this series is over. That first killer has won 2-0 in the matchup. And barring first killer maybe hearing that and deciding he wants Vakinus to be unmodded, I think he's probably right. <laughs> Arsenal should try and get a pogo. I mean, his whole goal should change. He almost got a pogo in game number one against him. And I'm telling you, if he got a pogo, he wins the series. You know, it's like, who cares who actually wins? It's whoever scores the most pogos. Wiz forfeited? I think he DC. I think he DC'd out, is what I was told. So he might be all the way out off of DC's. GG's. First killer moves to the playoffs. Arsenal one last life in the final round.